Stupid Watergate 2. <laughs> the sequel that could only get worse if it added Jar Jar Binks. And he is, <laughs> incidentally, scheduled to testify before Congress on Thursday. <laughs> now, if you're trying to blow up an airliner and your vest doesn't go off, you don't get to go, well, no harm, no foul, and then sit there <laughs> watching Detective Pikachu for the rest of the flight. Everything is hardest to understand when you rush through it like you're listing side effects at the end of a Lunesta commercial. <laughs> it's, it, I would honestly be happy if he switched bodies with a raccoon. And honestly, <laughs> Trump probably would too. He wouldn't have to deal with the impeachment inquiry and he'd get to keep his all-trash diet. It's a win-win. <laughs> Teddy Roosevelt's foreign policy mantra was speak softly and carry a big stick and not speak softly and try to get as many sticks as possible for your personal stick collection. <laughs> Steve Ducey, a man whose business card reads, and this is true, an idiot. <laughs> but but that is the census. The only reason to open the door for a stranger, unless he tells you he has candy in his van. In that case, you've got to see what he's offering, right? What if he has fudge? <laughs> Can we actually count on you, Mickey? It's 1980, you're in a tuxedo in the middle of the day, and your pupils are the size of personal pan pizzas. <laughs> we all that means, Mick, you've been baking with booger sugar, hawking the raw dilla, riding the white rail express to Blomaha. What I'm, what I'm trying to say here is Mickey Mouse has a really serious cocaine problem. <laughs> Listen, I'm just stating a fact. A Disney fact. <laughs> the concept. No one would go to your house and ask how many toilets you have. Because the answer should be the same for everyone, and that's four. One for peas, one for poops, one for guests, and one for groups. You know, the normal amount of toilets. Because losing a seat in Congress is much like losing one in musical chairs. Someone is going to be very disappointed. Only this time, it's an entire state, and not just Aiden. I'm sorry, Aiden. I'm sorry, Aiden, but you've got a slow butt. <laughs> It's like if Batman didn't fight crime, he just wandered around and told people interesting facts about bats. <laughs> bats can eat, eat up to 1,200 mosquitoes an hour. <laughs> Goodbye, enjoy your mugging, citizen. <laughs> Six people were able to use it to sign up for health insurance on its first day. Fun fact, those six people, the cast of Friends. I mean, <laughs> could they be any luckier? He, he's just reciting a major systemic problem with the cadence of a joke, which was also, incidentally, the original title for this program. Now, <laughs> now, if I ever die and anyone finds mysterious hard drives belonging to me, just assume they contain a shady gerrymandering scheme that I'm involved in. Don't even click. Just, just throw it straight out, because it's definitely a gerrymandering scheme and definitely not my collection of hamsters in tiny speedos. I mean, if, if it were that, there would be nothing wrong with it because it's not technically illegal, I checked. But, but that doesn't matter anyway, because it, it's not my collection of hamsters in tiny speedos. It's talking points about my gerrymandering scheme. I'm glad, I'm glad we all got that clear. I'll see you later.